What's up guys, Mike for Rapid Purple here. Wanted to touch base today and kind of a question I get asked a lot. Mike, how do I kind of merge and combine my website and my social media efforts? How do I help the two work together rather than be two completely separate different entities? Phenomenal question. And there's a couple of core things that I generally like to go over and touch base on when I look at any really new accounts or new clients, social media and their online presence kind of overall. So I wanted to go ahead and pump this video out there and throw it out there because I definitely think it'll help a lot of you guys out. A lot of these are tremendous core basics that you'd be surprised how many times get overlooked and they go a long way towards helping make sure that all of your social media channels work hand in hand with your website and all of your online marketing goals are thus met simpler and easier and just better. So kick things off, social media icons. You'd be surprised how many times I'll go to a website and I'll want to see what this company's doing on Facebook, what they look like, how they're interacting with their audience and so forth. And I'll look on their website, I'll go to the header, we'll go to the footer, we'll be like, hey, I can't find a link to your social media channels. Yes, eventually I might find it on the contact page or on the About Us page, but this isn't fun. So let's start that off as the number one thing. Put social media icons on your website. Dump them up in the header. Let people be able to find you. When they see all of these icons, they see that you are trying to engage with your audience and with your customers and that you are more approachable and more sociable and that you're a company that somebody might like to actually interact with. Let people get easy access to this. Put up social media icons. Hand in hand with that, share buttons. Use some common sense here. You, certain things people want to share. Maybe you pictures on the gallery of your restaurant, maybe articles that you post for your law office, maybe the menu to your bar for new specials, or maybe the event that you're running for the game tonight. These things are things that people might want to share and you want to kind of give them the opportunity to do it easier because you want to try to motivate them a little bit to actually share that event, share that article, share that picture. And in the end, this only benefits you, and putting these share buttons really isn't that complicated. And again, most networks have a very simple way that you can integrate all of this, so it's great. Put share buttons up as your second thing. Number three, widgets. Widgets are an awesome little thing because you can literally take your entire Twitter timeline or your Instagram feed or your Facebook news feed for your profile or for your page, and you can embed it right into your website. So every single time that you make a post on Twitter and you tweet something out, or you post something onto your Facebook page, or even your Google Plus page, or your Instagram profile, your website can now work with that. It can be dynamic because it can automatically update because you have that widget there. They're awesome things. All of the social networks that I just listed have their own widgets made. You can pick and choose them. Facebook has several. Twitter has several different types. Instagram, there's a lot of different companies out there that offer their own widget service, which are pretty awesome. Just Google Instagram widget and you will get a ton that you can use. So there's a lot of these out there. They're very easy to integrate into almost every website you have. WordPress, static HTML site, whatever the case is, it's really not complicated to integrate. And again, they're great things because they give real-time updates as your social media profiles update and as you post things, it updates your website. And that's great. Google loves the fact that your website has content that's changing and things that are changing. Your users love that things are changing and updating on your website because every time they come there, they see something new and that's awesome for them. So number three, make use of widgets as much as you can. I mean, don't just shove them all over the website, but make full use of the widgets that are available for the social networking profiles that you make use of. Number four, embedding content. So let's say that you are writing a post about something that you tweeted on five hours ago, and something broke, some news happened, something started trending, you got into a Twitter conversation about it, and then later on down the line, you found the time to be able to write up a full-blown post about it. Take your tweet, 
and embed it into the post. Now, this does a couple of great things. First off, it brings attention to your social media profile and it shows your readers and your visitors and your people that you are active on social media and that you're interacting with people and that you might be somebody that they should follow so that they can interact with you on similar topics. So that brings us up to the fifth and last point that I wanted to make. Number five, number five. Let people know about all the different channels that you have. If you have a website, let people know about your social media channels on your website. If you're on Facebook, let people know about your website on Facebook. You're on Twitter, let them know about Facebook on Twitter. You see what I'm saying? So use your other channels to help build up your following and to help cross promote things. Somebody that sees your channel and likes it on Facebook may not be that active on Facebook, but they may be extremely active on Twitter. So you wanna let them know, hey, I'm also on Twitter. And they might not be interacting with your posts here on Facebook, but they very well may interact with them on Twitter. Or maybe they're more into interacting with pictures. As such, make sure they know you have an Instagram so they can go to their favorite network and interact with you in a way that's comfortable to them. Because making the interaction process comfortable and easier for your followers and your audience and your customers ultimately helps you have more audience, more customers, and more followers. Because nobody wants to go through pain in the ass to be your fan. It's a fact. There we go, guys. Five simple, quick, very important things that you all should be doing to help connect your social media presence and your online presence and your website together and have them working together, hand in hand, to help grow your business overall. Have your social media icons done. Make them on your website. Have sharing buttons for the content that should be shared. Use widgets. Embed your Facebook timeline, your Instagram feed, your Twitter posts. Embed them on your website. Make some more dynamic content happen. Number four, embed your content from social media channels onto your website, into your blog posts, into your news article, into your press releases. Let people know that this is happening. Lastly, make sure everybody knows all the different channels and avenues that you're using online that overall establish your business's online presence. Let the world know. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions, anything like that you'd like to say, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Like the video if you did, dislike it if you didn't. We'll see you next time.